This is maths week four graded assignment question three. Um, I'm now going to show you a trick that not only will help you solve this question but any math problem similar to this question. Okay, so for example, we have a polynomial p of x, and the roots are x minus two, x plus three, um, x minus five point five, the square. Okay. Now here multiplicity of uh, this particular factor is two, and then these are one. Now uh, to solve, uh, we have to find. Basically, um, we have to find the range or something. Um, let's just go ahead. I will now draw a um, x-axis of this particular uh, polynomial. Here we have minus three um, corresponding to this factor. Here we have two, and here we have. 5.5 let's just extend these now if you put value 5.5 in this the value of this will be 0 because 5.5 is the 0 of this polynomial but what if we put values greater than 5.5 okay now if we like do this um 6 let's put 6 so 6 minus 2 4 6 plus 3 9 and then 6 minus 5.5 is 0.5 so the whole um polynomial will be positive so any value greater than 5.5 will give positive value for p of x now um, what if we put anything in between these two values let's say 3 okay so 3 uh, 3 minus 2 1 3 plus 3 6 and 3 minus 5.5 will be something negative but since we have a square here it will come as positive so again we get here as positive uh, the value is between 2 and 5.5 now any value between from uh, minus 3 to 2 uh, let's say 0 0 minus 2 minus 2 and uh, 0 plus 3 plus 3 and 0 minus so this will be positive and this will be negative so, um, so the whole term will be negative so we get this now and for values less than minus 3 let's say minus 5 so this will be negative this will be negative and this will be positive always because it's square so negative uh, times negative will be positive so we get here positive now if we look at this particular timeline we can derive um, a sort of a pattern um, okay now i will discuss the pattern here if we have a time if we have a timeline a sort of timeline or something uh, let's say it's x axis and um, we have roots here uh, 1 2 3 and 4 let's say a b c and d and the multiplicity of uh, let's say b and d are even and a and c are odd and if we find something let's say let's just say for this time uh, values greater than d will give us positive values for the polynomial so since d is a even multiplicity uh we change come here and the sign of the value will be same okay now since c is an odd multiplicity the sign will change okay and again with b since it's even the sign will remain the same and for a uh, since it's odd the sign will change so this will be the range um we can all like we can always take the opposite of this and it will be the same like um if it's negative then the negative will be negative and if it's positive it will be um positive like you get my point right yeah so yep this is how it works so you can solve question three with the same logic and the rest of the questions good luck